Yeah, very big welcome to you, my dear Leo, and always a big welcome to the other signs that felt like this constellation has a message for them as well, because I get a message all the time. It's really crazy. Sometimes the message is really so specific, so accurate, that I'm actually wondering, is this message for me or is it for you? But I also realize that we are all one. We're all one collective. And if you're inspired by the way I'm reading these cards, then of course we feel the same, right? We go through the same kind of stories. And so that's what also excites me that I feel quite each reading I learn something new, I learn something more because I'm studying the tarot, because I'm creating my own tarot deck. And so coming into the sun that is now in Cancer, I want you to see my yoga tarot card. I picked for the chariot, the high lounge, the one position that makes me feel like, yes, I can get out there and do interesting things in summer. And I am using the third eye, the inner eye, to bring the white and the black together. And here in the center, right here in the center, is what's happening. What is the union? What does union mean, right? I will get into the card once I'm going through the reading. So this is highlighting you, my dear Leo, which is now the moon is in your sign. And yes, you are the lion's breath. You are sticking the tongue out and there where the tongue is coming out, the crossing. It's like that's where inhale and exhale meet. That's where you make a point with the mouth that's open, the tongue that's coming out. So for me, that was very clear that this is the position that I give you with the infinite eight above you. And so, yeah, here is your card, right? Your yoga tarot card. Now, Cancer is cardinal and you are fixed because the sun is connected with you. And of course, Cancer is ruled by the moon as well. So there's quite an oxymoron happening where the water sign is in a fire in the sun and a fire sign is in the moon, in the water. So it's very interesting what is going to come up here. Um, altogether, I have um, 20 tarot cards and oracle decks because I want to see how they interact. I go back as far as the 15th century and now into the 21st. So it's a path that I include the last reading and there you had the sun in Gemini. And Gemini, the lovers, was highlighting you. And here came the title, Spiritual Love is the one love that can show you your divinity. You got the Ace of Cup. And then in the center, you got the number one, the Elder. And you got that one eye of the passion of the soul. So it was quite a very beautiful reading. Um... And I think it was, um, yeah, Sun in Gemini in The Lovers, right? So, yeah, spiritual love is something very important for me, at least, because that's also why I want to learn more about this kind of spirituality that has its roots in the Egyptian mythology, in the Kabbalistic tree of life, and also with the yoga or the um, Tantra, right, that we uh, yogis all learn. So um, your court card, last one, is here, the King of Wands. All these three cards I did not pick. I did not shuffle. I actually picked them so you can see Sun in Cancer, Moon in Leo, and your court card, the King of Wands, if your birthday is between July 13 and August 12, this is your court card if it comes up again, right? So I have it here just to um, have it as an energy because that's what you are. So let's begin. The first card that came up from the Visconti Sforza Tarot, one of the oldest intact 
cards there are in the world and one of the most expensive ones because back in the 15th century to actually create 78 cards painted hand painted was like unheard of that someone has that kind of money and so here we have the king of cups coming up now the family visconti had a daughter the family sforza had a son and money married power and not always was the relationship a love relationship but here these two actually managed to really create a happy marriage and um, after 10 years of marriage they decided to paint the tarot with each time when we see a male then it's him and if we see a female in the tarot it's her and here comes the king of cups Scorpio Scorpio has that energy that speaks emotionally to you the same way cancer is speaking to you you're very much fire so for you water is I don't know I think not you don't like it so much cats don't go into the water right but what's really fascinating the car that comes after is um, Oswald Worth his tarot deck which only have 22 major arcanas he didn't paint the other cards were used in the Kabbalistic Rose Cross Order that was formed 1888 in France Paris so he was quite a big influence in that order and yeah his cards are pretty intense and here you got Scorpio again the major arcana so you got the king of cups and you got the major arcana so there is definitely um, a Scorpio in your life someone influencing you very strongly or you are really looking deep within yourself what is it that you want to let go what it is that you want to cut so that you can transition into the next dimension right the number 13 is a four and the um death card is not an actual death is this big transformation from the physical plane from the number four which is connecting you to the emperor and the number four is that square that cube is that uh, crystallization of this dimension and you cut off everything that's not necessary except the heads and the hands and the feet the only thing that still actually can do something that brings us forward it can do something or can speak or smell or hear the five senses very interesting uh, card right then comes um, the hermetic tarot which was used in the order of the golden dawn that was formed also 1888 but in england and this order why am i using this cards is because arthur waite and alistair crawley which comes after both were in this order and then of course learned what they had to learn and they um, created each one their own deck and revolutionized it because he really made the tarot so much more accessible also the minor arcanas he actually added people in it and not just this kind of arrangement right so here we see actually the tree of life the kabbalistic tree of life the number 10 this is the card uh, the Lord of Wealth, right? Ten of Pentacles. And this is Mercury in Virgo. So either you get a message of the financial stability within your life, and ten is a lot of money. And this is Malkut, this is the kingdom, this is the physical, this is really like realizing something. This is coming to a actual realization and here it is the ten of coins so let's see what else comes and speaks to you then comes arthur wade this one i shuffled and here comes the page of pentacles now just that you know i have italian french english spanish 
and German cards here, right? So there's also language, and of course there's the story here in the first row. So here come the page, and the page are all the young generation of the Earth signs, which is Virgo, Taurus, and uh, Capricorn. So here, of course, with Mercury in Virgo, there is a Virgo talking to you and letting you know now you have not only 10 coins, you have 11 coins. And 11 is a portal. 11 is speaking about, yeah, a certain richness is also uh, important to understand that you need to give whatever it is that you can give. You know, whatever it is, you need to honor the money. You need to make sure that you never fall into the prey of what money can do to a human, right? It's not a good energy. Now comes Alistair Crawley. Now his story is also quite interesting. And this is the Six of Cups, the Sun in Scorpio. So there is a Scorpio in your life that's pretty much talking to you. Very strong, right? The King of Cups, the Scorpio Major Arcana, and now the Sun in Scorpio, and in between, money. Okay, so here the story with Alistair Crowley is that um, the people that um, took care of his legacy only published his deck 22 years later after his death. And of course, we only have 22 Major Arcanas, the same way here. Um, Oswald Worth only painted 22, the 22 major arcanas. And so a very clear sign that these people were uh, creating. And of course, uh, in the year 1969, it was published. And that's when Serge Gainsbourg, French singer, was singing L'année érotique, the year of erotique. Uh, um, of errors, right? The, the the year of passion, which is in the number 69. So here you have a six coming up. And the six is speaking always about a memory uh, back in the time that something was quite enjoyable, was quite happy, was is, is reminding you that there are one, two, three, a triangle that's pointing down and one, two, three, a triangle that's pointing up. But it's not the hexagram, it's separate. It's somehow the memory that this person has and the memory that this person has, because six is again the uniting of male and female, is not coming together. So it's back then, it was back then, but still they're all in a way connected. Very interesting, right? Now, after that comes Salvador Dali, a Spanish painter, the Nine of Swords, which is Mars in Gemini. And the Nine of Swords is a nightmare. Now, I feel that there is something going on here with money, with the Scorpio, and it's kind of a lot of money. All right, so we see the Ten, we see the Ace, uh, we see the Page of Cups, a, a young generation that is saying, yeah, I, I want to honor this money. But for some reason, maybe they didn't honor this money. And so the memory is creating in you quite something difficult, quite something that you cannot sleep. You are uh, staying awake. You have difficulty right to understand there is a little bit of a despair and some cruelty going on here as well so in combination with the past something is going on here with money and with emotions the next card is the golden dawn tarot so this story is that of course before this deck was created there was another deck but it was never published so some of these people that studied in these order these were uh secret orders secret brotherhoods and everything you had to swear secrecy and you cannot just publish whatever you want and of course before this deck there was this deck so actually um robert wing was uh recreating this deck with the help of Israel Regardi, which was a scholar, which was like quite um, 
a mystic and helped him to recreate the, the tarot that existed before this. But of course, I'm placing it where it was published, which was 1978. So here comes a complete new beginning. The Fool, right? Here are one, two, three, four, five, six fruits in the tree. And again, it's the six, the six that's speaking about the combination of male and female, the two triangle that speak about male and female uniting, speak about here this triangle pointing up and the triangle pointing down, but they don't meet. And so the star of David is not belonging only to the Jewish people. It's one of the oldest symbols of depicting the male and the female uniting and creating the next generation. So here you have the child, the fool, and this black dog that is the fertile, that is that little bit of a dark side, that is a, actually the black holes they discover is where all life comes from. It's not swallowing whatever is out there. It's actually giving life and birth to everything that we have here. So the dark is actually the spiritual. It's not the light that is spiritual. It's the dark where we give birth to the next generation. So there is something wanting to begin new. And here the next one is Hermann Handel. Hermann Handel, the seven of stones, is actually saying something is not quite um, working out with this new beginning. Something is um, heavily influenced by the Nine of Swords. Something is uh, stuck in the memory, in the Six, which hang here in the tree. Something is yeah, not really. And so the seven coming in, which is Netzach on the tree of life, right? Netzach is the memory or the communication of a higher spiritual level and is giving you that you, Saturn in Taurus, are remembering uh, the things that you did to have the financial security that you need to have. So maybe you went from 10 down to seven and lost some money right and this was a memory back then when you had that amount of money and you feel that is giving you a little bit of a nightmare and now but you're getting invited to actually begin new and the next card that's coming which is the seven of wands which is Mars in Leo, right? Connected to you, Leo. So here you have a 7-7 seven, seven portal. Two times seven, the creativity to understand a higher spiritual communication. And the seven of wands is saying, act, right? If you feel that something is really blocking you like this, and you feel that something with your money is not correct, or something is going on and you really thinking, okay, I gotta, I gotta change something, I gotta do something, then act, right? Act is releasing doubt. Doubt is something that is freezing us, is making us block, and you gotta unblock yourself by acting and by fighting against everything that's wanting to attack you. So then comes you, the second row, and you have here the crystal citrine, number 14 and the citrine is when you look closer at it he's here meditating within these uh, blocks of crystals and very clearly there are a few there are three big ones and it's again showing me that the number three is speaking to you very clearly in the six two times six right there is something going on with a scorpio and you gotta just really look at that and be like, okay, start having fun, start enjoying your life, start doing the good things, the right things that are 
in the 14 the one is the magician and the four is the emperor in a stability where you understand this transformation maybe a little bit more from a deeper level and of course together it's the five and the five is the higher friend is taurus and Taurus is speaking here to you, Saturn in Taurus, that there is a heaviness, but you got to bring a lightness to it by getting very active, by just jumping up and pushing away these dark energies, right, that sometimes want to surround you. And here we can see this is your light. This is something that's uh, helping you to go and bring yourself into the next level of naturalness here pure nature again a seven so you have a seven seven portal that's three times the seven three is the power to see that a higher spirituality is speaking to you by the seven of stones by um knowing your value very clearly knowing that you began a new value began to understand i value myself and i am taking action to really be me as natural as i can be and love myself love myself unconditionally standing here because then you get again the zero you get again the fool so there is twice the number zero coming to you and saying just begin begin completely new begin something love yourself in the six right uh, arrive from last time when the sun was in Gemini which is the number six which is the spiritual love a higher spiritual love that you feel within that you're creating and that's what cancer is pushing you in the black and the white bring it together and see that someone is calling you it's like the same way you're speaking into this little rosebud now you blow it out there and you want to tell everybody that you have found yourself you have found a freedom in being you and of course that is bringing them to the trumpet the drum so there is music playing you should dance you should shake yourself you should really like yeah go out there and shake yourself and dance and drum and, and and the drumming is connected with you the heart right that's your uh physical body part and it's in your heart beat that you feel when you beat the drum that's when you awaken that's when you come into another six right so you have a six six portal within here six fruits right so of course three times six is the power to see within the transformation the shifting and the changing of from things that maybe in your past weren't quite so great but you have always an opportunity to change because then you get the spider and the spider is an earth animal and the spider is webbing a net out of all the colors of the rainbow all the colors that speak about all the seven chakras and she is literally saying to you just create something completely new and let go of whatever it is that you want to let go and listen to what she has to say she is the creator of prosperity oh my god right she's the creator of prosperity so the 10 is coming back and she is through life's work um and dharma when in balance appreciative enthusiastic and prosperous here we go prosperous right you can see the value of the money you can see the value new by creating your own world wide web <laughs> and get yourself out there and know that yes back then something happened back then something was pushing you the number nine but it's a completion it's something that's saying you you had to go through that mentally you had to go through this difficulty to grow and to learn right there she lies and the angel is watching over her so you don't have to worry really because these are the things that happen so that we can grow and that we can really master ourselves and she is helping you so that you can walk forward into the future 
with a Virgo, with someone that you trust, with someone that walks the talk and lets 11 coins just drop down into, into the earth. And the 11 is a portal. Again, a portal that's speaking about, yes, the 1-1 one, one is a clear sign. Go for it. Be creative in your foundation. Be creative in whatever you do because then comes this beautiful card and yes it says overwhelm but look at the number so there is 11 coins you can actually calculate yourself and of course then you have the overwhelm that says the hard work we love can leave us feeling burdened drained and burnt out among other problems so right Move forward. Don't allow, of course, here the spider's work, a work that is intense, a work that is like, oh my God, I mean, she is just out there. She has eight legs, so she is connected with you because you have the eight above your head. And she has one. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 strings, 16, I don't know if that has a meaning, it's a 7, and the 7 is actually then again connected to here, the 7 that you remember the hard work that you're doing, you remember that you took action, you remember that you are worked on being natural and pure and being just yourself, your beautiful self, right? So then, of course, you move forward into this card and you can see there are one, two, three, four, five, six rays, there are two dogs and there is a butterfly. And of course, the butterfly always is connected with the Scorpio, the transformation, that getting through. And now the uh, next card is the lovers. The lovers, the number six, right? The memory back to the last reading where you got the message, spiritual love is the only love that can show you your divinity. In that reading of the lovers, you really felt that, yes, opposites attract, right? So he, beca he becomes almost like a human, she becomes like a bird, and they really love each other, and they really allow each other to just be the way they are. And so... Don't allow this overwhelm to get to you because now you have a one, 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 even though this is the number nine, it's the Virgo, the nine month, but the six zodiac signs. So again, as you can see, there's a lot of numbers that help me to tell the story. And so allow the six, the next six, right, to bring you a deep understanding, a six and a six, and a six, a three times six, right? Three times six is then uh, with this uh, four times six. I mean, we have the six fruits in there, right? So I have to calculate that as well. So four times six is speaking about have the heart to really see within yourself that which you can become, that true love that's here feeling the heartbeat that you love yourself and that you have found a deep profound love and that brings you up into the sky that brings you up into the air that brings you into motion that brings you forward that helps you to create something and you have here the number 22 a portal right so you have here a portal number 11 and you have 11 coins falling down and you have here the number 22. So move forward and proclaim this love and just understand that from there you go into the Four of Swords and this nightmare that you had here is reduced into four, which is then of course Jupiter and Libra and is helping you to really go deep, deep, deep down into a meditation a deep meditation that's a recovery where you are in peace and where you find that one 
energy that is helping you now to really push yourself into a whole new spiritual beingness which then comes through the eye of this eagle the eye of the eagle that's saying rising above the fray so through your meditation you go up into the eagle consciousness that's what alberto Villoldo says you go up into the sky you go up and start realizing something quite profound you start realizing that Everything is just the right way. Everything that comes to us is giving us the lesson that we need. You have the number nine as the completion. The nine that's saying, yes, I see here. Um, another four, four. Um, portal, right? Two times four is creativity in the heart, creativity in the transformation. You will find that in your meditation. And of course, most of all, what I really, really love is that you can see this big understanding of a spiritual message that the eagle the higher consciousness the love the self-love that comes through accepting yourself uh, also accepting another one a little bit different than you but accepting yourself coming through this sun in cancer a deep healing a deep love that is showing you the true you that's showing you how natural you can be that is showing you that you begin twice really begin twice and understand that the zero is the cycle that we go through always a cyclical energy like the moon and here you are with the sun in um, a water sign and the moon in the fire sign, a complete oxymoron, is challenging you and is saying, yeah, have a look, really have a deep look, because you have, through the meditation, you have the insight, you have a vision, and you can see what it's really all about. Wow, what a reading. So I hope I see you in the next one. That's when you get your new moon and you can plant a seed because the earth is turning in such a way. When we look behind the sun, we see the constellation Leo. After Cancer comes Leo. So you coming up, right? You are speaking about let's take action. Mars and Leo, let's take action, right? Let's go out there let's do it you can do it right because you want to do it you want to really be yourself and you really take action to really be yourself and that's what's coming in the next reading i guess so i hope i see you then until then i thank you so much for being with me namaste